bap, bap, bap. You had already talked about what happened, you know, with your, you know, the the health issue. Yeah. But I just, I, as someone that I never want to ask something that anyone else has asked in an interview or that you've asked, talked about so much. Right. But now <clears throat> I feel the need to talk about it again as, you know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you were diagnosed with tongue cancer. Yep. Uh, they said, we're going to have to cut out 75% of it. Yep. You said, no, I'm going to get some second opinions. You found this incredible person. Yep. And then you lost your taste from the chemo and then got it back. Right, for a year. It was gone. Already, already amazing, but I want to just revisit that again because after COVID, all of a sudden, you know, that's a story that's already wild because like a chef lost his sense of yeah, taste. Yeah. At what point are you like, all right, God, I get I get what you're te- like, right. w- 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 did it have anything to do with being a chef and taste like, or was that just a total... Crazy coincidence. Crazy coincidence. Never, no wrist factors, no. That's like as a comedian, me getting cancer in my wrist where I hold the microphone. Right. Never smoked, never drank heavily, never, you know, no, nothing. No HPV cunnilingus. No HPV. They had no idea where it came from. And so now I feel like it's worth revisiting that and talking to you because, you know, the big thing about COVID was you lose your taste. Yeah. And there was this huge zeitgeist thing where all of a sudden there was a whole new yeah. appreciation for your taste. Right. I, I guess people don't realize we've all probably had the flu. And, you know, when you're eating your chicken soup, you can't taste it, mm-hmm. right? The COVID thing really brought it to the forefront. Um, I apparently never had COVID. Really? I don't. I, I feel like karmically you paid your dues I, yeah, in the health department. Yeah, yeah, You're right. like, we'll spare him on yeah, this round. He's already that. lost his taste now. Let's not be <laughs> assholes about it. Right. Yeah, so, you know. Was no. it weird to hear people complaining about that after lost what you went taste? through? Yeah. No, no, I was sympathetic to it. I mean, you have no motivation to eat, yeah, right? Yeah. Even though you have to do it to survive, if you can't taste, it's just like, meh. But there's also something, you know, miraculous that happens when you lose one sense. So I had COVID and I lost both basically most of my brain. You guys saw the podcast over the pandemic. <laughs> I got like the brain fog and I couldn't remember things. I, I lost really? my taste and smell, but it is kind of amazing. The Like, did you find there was any magic in the other senses that got stronger as you lacked that and were building up? I definitely paid attention to the other senses to make up for it. Yeah. I don't know that they got heightened. I just paid attention to them, you know. That's so interesting. I would listen to food. Sounds a little weird. Whoa. Yeah, I know. But you know, I've spent my whole life cooking. So when you put something in a saute pan, yeah, I know by the way the oil is popping. If the pan's hot enough, if it's ready to be flipped, if it, you know. So you really start paying attention to that stuff. <laughs> 